The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman, volleyball coach Dan Ayers, I'm Michael Watchering, and this is CNEagles.com. The Eagles get set for Anderson and Newberry this weekend. And senior weekend, coach, uh, four great seniors, all pro- prolific in, uh, in their times here. Uh, how nice has it been to, to have these four seniors in your first year as a Carson Newman head coach? It's a real blessing. I mean, to come into a program with this kind of leadership, this kind of you know, effort, heart, desire to win, and their talent level alone, it's, it's a real blessing and a real load off a first-year head coach for sure. Four players that all potentially have an opportunity to be all-conference. Uh, go through each, of, each one of them individually and maybe uh, talk about what they've been able to bring to the table here in their final years. Yeah, it's obviously we'll start with uh, Kristen Pickett. Um, easily the best setter in the conference. I mean, the way she can distribute the ball to anywhere, including the back row. And, you know, our serve receive has been up and down all year. We're getting better at that. But the fact that she's just an absolute floor general and her defense sets her apart from every other setter in this league. I mean, there's a lot of good setters in this league, but the way that she moves on defense, digs every ball, and look at her, look at her serving. I think she's second in the conference in service aces. I mean, she clearly stands out as the best setter in the league. And then, uh, like we talk about Harper and Wilson, well, that's a tough choice right there for conference player of the year. I mean, you talk about just an absolute workload for Harper, having to pass, having to dig, having to swing every out-of-system ball that we have or a lot of out-of-system balls that we have out of the back row. She takes a rip at uh, another really good server for us and just a leader on the court, making sure that our defense and our serve receive is very sound. Uh, Wilson, uh, pretty much an unstoppable force as we've seen this year. I think she's hitting 400 right now. I think she's like fourth in the conference and kills a set. Uh, number one in the conference and blocks a set. Uh, yeah, what can't she do? You know, we can pretty much put her anywhere on the court and she'd be successful. Luckily for us, we had a need in the middle and she's been dominant there, absolutely dominant there. Uh, Santarelli, um, we call her our, our waste management crew. Uh, most teams out of system balls go to an outside hitter. Uh, our balls, we rely on Santarelli to take care of those balls for us. She does a great job um, on the right side and uh, as teams have seen all year, you better put a blocker, two blockers, and some defenders on her because she hammers the ball. Um, and I've seen defenders, actually, that we've played this year after they try to dig her. Ow, oh, my arms. <laughs> and so it's, it's, yeah, she swings a heavy ball, and she, she takes care of the waste for us. Everything that nobody else wants to hit, she'll go hit for us. And, I mean, she's got to be blocking uh, incredible. It's a bummer she got hurt middle of the year, and so she didn't get to dominate a lot of the teams in our conference. But the teams that she did get to play, you can see the numbers really stack up. You gave those four seniors a, a real highlight in their career last week against number seven Wingate in, in defeating them. How do you try to duplicate that this weekend so they get a proper send off in their final games at Holt Fieldhouse? Yeah, uh, obviously it's going to be a lot of emotion this weekend. Our family night is on Friday night. All their families are coming into town. Uh, we'll have a lot of recruits into town. Um, and like we talk about all the time, Carson Newman's a family, and there's going to be a lot of tears, a lot of emotion. But luckily there won't be a whole lot because we've got a whole lot of season left. Um, but how do we get up for two big wins? It's easy. Uh, as long as the regional rankings keep disrespecting us, I think these girls will keep a chip on their shoulder and want to dominate. Anderson, one of those teams that are right behind you in the regional rankings, and then Newberry, who took you to five this year. What are you going to have to do against those teams to, uh, to ensure that, that you do have uh, solid matches against the Trojans and then the Wolves? Yeah, really interesting. Anderson's a great team. Um, they've got Haley Pittman, a really good middle, um, coached really well. Uh, we've got to make sure that we serve aggressive. If we serve aggressive and knock the, their setter um, outside of 10 foot, then it's hard to set Haley Pittman. If we can do that, I think we'll have a good chance. Newberry, they took us to five at their place. Um, they're a real scrappy team. Um, they're out of system a whole lot, but they still take heavy rips at the ball and they dig a lot of balls. So we've got to make sure we find a way to put the ball to the ground and don't get frustrated when they play defense against us. Thanks for your time, Coach. Best luck this weekend. Thank you. You can catch both games on cneagles.com slash live. Matt Osblart has the call of those games. For head coach Dan Ayers, I'm Michael Watchering, and this is cneagles.com.